Man U TV, Tottenham oppose the acquisition of Newcastle. Four teams in the top six Premier League oppose the Saudi Arabia Public Investment Fund, EIF, to buy Newcastle Club for more than 400 million US dollars. Liverpool, Man U TV, Arsenal, and Tottenham have expressed their opposition to the Premier League when this acquisition was completed on October 7, according to Sports Mail. Earlier, Tottenham chairman Daniel Levy tried to stop the deal, but failed. Premier League leaders think Levy's efforts will go nowhere. Leaders of 19 other clubs in the Premier League also requested an urgent meeting to explain why they allowed the Saudi Arabia fund to buy Newcastle. The Premier League has blocked this deal for many years, allegedly because of human rights issues in Saudi Arabia. But, just a few days after the copyright dispute between Saudi Arabia and Qatar's B and Sports Station was settled, the Newcastle acquisition was approved. B and Sports is holding the rights to the English Premier League in Middle Eastern countries. In the top six Premier League clubs, by revenue, only Chelsea and Man City do not object to this deal. This is also the club with the most money by owners in the Premier League, and won many championships in the past 10 years. The new owners of Newcastle also want the team to follow the path of Man City. EIF is holding 80% of the shares in Newcastle, but their leader only holds the position of non-executive chairman, on paper. This helps Newcastle circumvent the law that Saudi Arabia cannot control an English Premier League club. The management of Newcastle is given to Mrs. Amanda Stadley, CEO of PCP Capital Partners, holding 10% of the shares of the team. The remaining 10% of Newcastle is kept by RB Sports and Media, represented by Jamie Rubin son of billionaire David Rubin. Newcastle plan to win the Premier League and Champions League in the next 5 to 10 years. Over the next four transfer windows, they plan to spend more than $270 million 